Well, the premise of the tournament is simple. Every team, of course, is striving to make the latter stages. That's where they all want to be. No doubt these two harbour very similar ambitions. A good show here, absolutely crucial. Well, the pre-match build-up has been fantastic. Now, the game itself. And as you can see, we've already started here. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Expertly cut out, really nicely done. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Peter, here's someone I really like the look of in Ruben Diaz. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Played out towards the right wing. Morata over to the left. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Out to the right. Wriggles his way through. Played into the middle. And the goalkeeper's got a good palm to that. And here's a chance. Keeper's not concerned by that. Spain have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Morata. That a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. It's a quick one, and it's Nacho. Hit into the middle. Morata! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Ruben Diaz makes the interception. Played out to the left flank. Bumps him off it and wins back the ball. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Can he put it away? Goal, Spain! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Yeah, that's what the game is all about. Excitement and entertainment. What a lovely moment. Spain break the deadlock and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on now it's Ferran Torres Bernardo Silva João Palinha Rodri powering forward here João Palinha pinches it off him and it's played forward. Looking for options for movement. Joao Palinha. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. That is great defending, so alert. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And he was alert to it. Now, who's going to be first to this? It's a pretty loose pass. Oh, good spread. Ferran Torres gets his pass away. Oh, good ball. He is through here. Can he finish? Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you get a sense, Peter, that he could almost get to anything today. All he needs to do is to place this between the goalposts and basically let them attack it. Pedri. Pedri crosses. Threads one in. And that's put paid to a promising move. 
not the most accurate pass. Now it's Ferran Torres. Nacho. Looking for the runner. Gets away from his opponents. Oh, he's got a side of goal. Ferran Torres, Gavi, has a shot, good strike, quite an alarm, Cristiano Ronaldo, well, that pass isn't the best, Rafael Leal, now it's Rafael Leal, big chance, Another chance! He's gone for goal! There will be one minute at a time. He's there to make a great save. Bernardo Silva is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. This possibly the last play of the half. Climbs up big! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Well, he's furious with himself, but at least the boss is applauding his effort then. Massive leap! Now he wants to get in on the act here. Portugal really putting a few chances together here. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there we are, half-time. Both teams head into their respective dressing room. And while there was a genuine flow about the game, most importantly, there has been just and one telling moment. It is still very sure tight here. The game the still provided. up for grabs. For and the half-time score, 1-0. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And the game has already resumed here. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Cristiano Ronaldo. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Bernardo Silva, Rafael Leal. Could be danger here. He'll try from distance. In he goes again. Oh, it's there. Portugal a level. He won't get many simpler than that, but he's certainly not complaining. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Portugal grab the equaliser, and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides, and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Cross goes in there. Can he finish? And that is certainly not what he had in mind. Oh, his instinct was brilliant, but not the finish. This is good pressing, they're not short on bodies. Well read, and the danger is averted. Oh, that's a key interception. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Ruben Diaz. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Gonzalo Ramos! Goal! Portugal! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Portugal take the lead. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. He's left his man. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. This is a really front-footed approach. 
Spot on, Peter. Well time, excellent interception. Jao Cancelo. Rafael Leal. Oh, it's come loose. Now it's and the finish! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. Back when it goes. Shapes to shoot! Spread out to the left. Defenders on the back foot. Now it's Morata. Bernardo Silva. Gently done. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. Gonzalo Ramos! So, third corner of the game. Spain can start a counter here. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, he's really drilled it. Decent progress down the left. Moved on forwards. It's a throw in. Spain really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. And the referee's awarded a free kick. Out to the left it goes. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. Pulls it back. Oh, that was one big no-no when you've got a queue formed in the box. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Ferran Torres. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. Now the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Probably be looking to play it square from here. And the shot! Oh, that's a vigorous challenge. Rodri. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Good spot, he's seen the run. Now it's Rafael Leal. Picked out brilliantly. Great chance! Oh, taken with style! And there's the goal they've been looking for. More or less by himself, as cool as you like. Well, how cool was that? He was almost teasing the keeper then. Portugal could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see the more experienced lads step up to the plate now. Little doubt, that is a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. And into the grateful arms of the keeper. Ronaldo goes sliding in. Oh, easy pickings there. He steps in, and that's the end of that. Ferran Torres in acres of space out wide. There's the shot! The whistle has gone and it is all over. Perfect result, perfect outcome. A test passed with flying colours. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim?
Portugal really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win, such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess they'll all go a little quiet now. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you. I'd like to draw your attention to the screen.